Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and in this episode, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the re recent episode of Victorious that aired tonight called Brain Squeezers. Now, I was looking forward to this episode because the only thing I knew about was it was going to be on a game show, and usually when TV shows take place on a game show, they're usually really funny episodes, and I usually love uh, uh, TV shows that uh, that are comedies that have episodes on a game show. And especially, you know, with this cast to being so quirky and crazy, it'd be great to have him on a game show. Um, so, this episode was basically about Tori got a chance to be on a show called Brain Squeeze. It was a very popular game show, apparently. Um, and uh, she is the team captain, and she can bring three other people. And everyone's basically like, pick me, pick me, pick me. Kat, really, though, I felt like she was the star of this episode because... We actually see her being somewhat intelligent. She's like, she has this app, basically on her phone, and she's looking at it, and she finds all the 50 states, and it was really funny how she does that. Um, and then we have Beck, who's basically pretending like he doesn't want to do it, and then he, at the last minute, he says he does want to do it. And then we have Trina, who says, okay, you can have two, you have two choices. It's either me, you, Ro Ro Robbie, and Andre, or me, you, Andre, and Sinj Beck and Sinjin. And um, I thought that was kind of funny. And then Jade comes over and she says, Oh my god, my grandmother is in the hospital. My mom just got arrested. Oh my god. And really, she just wants it for the money. And everyone's going nuts. Like, pick me, pick me, pick me. And Tori finally decides that... I'm sorry, I'm going to my now. Sorry. Um, but... Tori then decides um, that she takes out her phone and says, Okay, I have the Brain Squeezer team. It's me, Andre, Beck, and Andre, Beck, and Robbie, because those were the three that didn't really hound her about it. And uh, she decides to um, go through with that team. And then at the last and then um, at the last minute, uh, Jade basically comes in and uh, she just she decides that um, she pretends to now be Tori and um, says, I'm Tori Vega. And really, this puzzles me. How did you do this, Jade? I really can't figure this out. How did she do this? Really, what the hell? How did she not get it? She should have gotten arrested for this. This was the part of the episode that kind of annoyed me. How did Jade not get arrested for doing this? She should have either gotten arrested or in trouble or something. And then the commercial break comes in. This episode is a completely different episode. I feel like we're in a completely different episode after the commercial break because the game show comes in and we see brain squeezers. And the first question, um, Robbie cannot answer. And then he gets doinked. And there are everyone trying to figure out what the doink. And this, we find out that this is basically a parody of Nick game shows. Because as we know, Nick game shows, they take everything to the extreme. Someone always gets hurt. Something bad always happens. But this was to the extreme. And um, this is when this episode got really unfunny. Um, as I said, I kind of like the, I don't know if I said this, but I like the first half of the, the episode better than the second half. Because this second half was just ridiculous. Every time, because these questions aren't making any sense. It'd be one thing if um, they couldn't answer them, but there was one that they, he didn't even let them answer, and he said, oh, bad things happen sometimes. And uh, I thought this was going to be a dream. This episode would have been a lot better if it was all a dream, and then Tori's like, oh my god, I picked the wrong people. Maybe we should, maybe it should be, it should have been like, back to her, and then she should say, oh, maybe we shouldn't do this game show. This episode really was weird in the second half. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Especially with what was going on um, with all the doinks. This was ridiculous. Because you see, Jade lo lost the teeth. Uh, Andre is beat up. And then they finally get the money, and Tori ends up getting doinked. And it turns out that no one gets the money in this show. How stupid is that? Really, how stupid can you be? This episode ended the good episodes of season four because up to now season four has been season three and season four have been the most consecutive seasons of victorious there's been which it means there's a good episode every week there's not one week where there's a bad episode 
And that's back to like season one. Uh, Cause season one was really good. Season two was okay. Season two had some good episodes, but season one really was consistent. And th this season was going back to season one where it had a good episode every week. And this ended it. It really did end it. And I was really upset cause I was really hoping it could be a good episode. And there were some funny parts. I mean, as I said, the parts with Kat and parts with Trina saying she has two choices. And then the part with, um, oh, I forgot to mention the best part in the beginning. Uh, Kat's on the, there, there's a little bit of a subplot. Kat's trying to win this radio contest. And she's on the phone and they're like, well, maybe you should put that phone down. Um, and then she says to Robbie, shut up. And there's a little, um, we've never seen Kat so fierce before. Um. And then we find out, though, that she's listening to her playlist rather than the radio station. That was funny. I would have liked a subplot in this episode because I feel like this episode had too much weird stuff. We should have had some kind of subplot with that. Um, maybe they, you know, maybe the game show could have gone to the commercial break. The game show, first of all, the game show was way too long. This game show really, if this was a real game show, it put me to sleep. It was so long. Most of the episodes, the game show, I'm like, the, fir the first half was over. I'm like, that's it? Really, the first half of the episode is just like, okay, who am I going to pick? Who am I going to pick? Who am I going to pick? I'm toward Vegas. No, I'm toward Vegas. Bam! First half of the episode's over. And it's ridiculous. Overall, I did, like, I thought this episode was, eh. Definitely not the best episode of the season. It's not one that I'm going to say, ooh, Brain Squeezers, one of the best episodes of Victorious. If I watch this episode, I'm probably just going to watch the first half of the episode rather than the second half of the episode. Because the first half of the episode, I really would have liked this to be, like, as I said, a dream. Um, you know, something, it should have, the first, it doesn't connect, really. Um, because, um, well, I mean, before the game show starts, it connects. But then it, it, it ends up not connecting, and this episode felt very disconnected and very strange. I realized it's parody in Nickelodeon game shows, but really, half of the stuff they're doing on the show isn't even illegal. Some is illegal. Someone gets hit with a toilet. Someone gets hit with a car battery. That's not funny. That's humiliating. Um, and I know, really, I hope this show does not go the iCarly route, because... When iCarly ended, the last few episodes of iCarly were not very good except for the last episode. But the other episodes of iCarly, they were not good. They stunk. Um, this episode sucked. I'm sorry to say this, but this was probably the worst episode of Victorious there's ever been. Just because of the second half, it's probably the worst episode of Victorious. Um, I'm sorry to say that. If you liked this episode, fine. I liked it. I felt it was funny at some parts. The first half was definitely a lot better, though. So that's it for my review of Victoria's Brain Squeezers. Let me know what you thought of this episode. I'm really hoping that the next episode's going to be really good because there's only three more episodes left until the show's gone. And, um, you know, it really is upsetting because I've loved this show. It's probably the funniest show out of the Nickelodeon and Disney shows. I mean, I've loved this show so much. When it ends, I'm going to be upset. I'm glad they're going to have Cat back in Family Pat. Um, hopefully, Robbie will guest star in that and something will happen between Robbie and Cat because I still feel like that one episode, really, they didn't get a chance. So, I really did not like this episode except for the first half. So, that's it for my review of Victoria's Spring Squeezers. Hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.